Hey, 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 honey, come on in the room, honey. Come on in the room. Hey, come on in the room. Come on in the room, darlings. Come on in the room, honey. Close your legs to marry men. Close your legs to marry men. Those very words were once said by Nene Leakes over a decade ago. And my, oh my, oh my, how the tables have turned and how those very words are now being used against her. Because Miss Nene Leakes decided to open her legs to a married man and is now facing the consequences for those very actions. Because now she's being sued by his wife. Yes, her current views wife is suing her for a hundred thousand dollars, honey, because this woman is sick and tired of being disrespected. Let me tell you what my girl said that she's suing Nina Leaks for. She says that she's suing Nina Leaks because one, her husband lied to her about the ongoing romantic, uninhibited, and adulterous affair with Nina Leakes without her knowledge or consent. So this woman didn't even know that Nina was fucking her husband. She didn't know that they had any relationship. Like she was blindsided by everything. Um, she also says that this man would lie to her about his whereabouts. So when he was going all over the country with Nene, he would tell her something completely different and she would see on social media where he really was at. And get fucked up. Like very fucked up. Also, she says that she faced embarrassment. She faced humiliation. She faced this uh, being uh, disgraced by Nene posting and flaunting her husband all over social media. Um, and his wife's name is, um, her name is Malamina Tamesio. That's her name. And she resides in North Carolina. And in the state of North Carolina, one can sue another for alienation of affection. And I'm going to break it down to you. An alienation of affection lawsuit can be filed by a deserted spouse, which will be his wife, against a third party who is Neelix, that she believes is responsible for the marriage's failure. So she has, by law, because of the state she lives in, the right to sue Lanizia Monique Johnston, formerly Leakes, for $100,000, which is what she wants, for damages. Because it's humiliating. Like, to watch her husband be on social media and on TV and around the world with another woman, and she not even know about it. And she's watching it like we're watching it in real time. Yes, you got to pay sis up. And I'm so glad that, you know, sis is finally doing something about it because she has been silent for a while. So we didn't even know what she was thinking. But now we know that obviously she's fed up and she's going for what's hers. And I don't blame her. And I support her because in Nina Leakes is once a married woman, honey. And she always, y'all know she always preached about, you know, how important marriage was to her and how you're supposed to, you know, respect people's marriages and their vows and yada, yada, yada. But now she's doing the very same thing that she was coming for Kim for, honey. Telling Kim to close her lips to marry a man and this never. <laughs> One thing about Miss Kim, so she had to be very honey. Big Papa, why ex-wife and wife, a wife, but when she was with him, didn't sue up. Uh, Kim wasn't getting a lot of in her ass because the wife knew her. See, the wife knew it was already over. See, the wife wasn't worried about Kim. See, the wife, you know, wasn't tripping because the wife probably was doing her own thing. You know what I'm saying? So the wife was not going to sue Kim because the wife was not it, it wasn't going to do that. Big Papa had, see, Big Papa had things the way he had them down, sat down. See, Big Papa made sure that his wife had the money she needed, and his wife knew, you know, was good. So she wouldn't come out trying to sue Kim. See, Kim did it the right way, because at least her man made sure his wife wasn't going to sue Kim later on. See, Nene clearly lacked the intelligence that Kim has and when it comes to uh, being a, a mistress, because Kim was, you know, it was, it was a mistress. But the thing is, Kim was a good mistress, because Kim uh, was good at all that money, honey, and baby, and you know, Kim secured the bag, and Kim never got sued. Like, Big Papa's wife never came and sued Kim, never, has never. 
And it, they, they, that was over a decade ago. You know what I'm saying? So clearly Kim did something right. And so though all those whores and mistresses and sluts that Nina was calling Kim, but Nina, you're all those things, honey. You, you're, a, you're, a, you're a slut, you're a whore, you're a mistress. You're all those things. Like the very things you were calling Kim for all those years, you are those very things. Isn't it funny? Because you were the main one judging Kim, condemning Kim for being with a married man, and yet you, you're now with your old ass, almost 60, doing the same thing that Kim was doing in her 30s, boo. In her 30s, okay? Chad, it's laughable at this point because Nene looks crazy as hell once again. And it's sad because her career is down the toilet, and now she is in another lawsuit. Another one, honey. Like, how are you in two lawsuits at the same damn time? It's crazy. Like, where's she gonna get the funds from? You know, because like she has paid for all these lawyers and attorney fees for the one for the lawsuit against Bravo, and now she's gonna have to come up with some lawyers and attorney fees for this lawsuit. This woman coming at her way. Like, girl, where are you gonna get the funds from? Because I mean, I'm pretty sure she took out a good chunk of it from Malika's lounge. Um, you know what I'm saying, and use data probably some of Greg's life insurance, you know, went to helping her fund her, you know, legal stuff. But I'm like, girl, like, you know, you're going to drain all of Greg's life insurance and you're going to drain Lavinia's savings from that. Girl, you're going to have shit in there. You're going to be broke fighting these cases. It's like, girl, like, I, it's, it's, it's sad because Nene really is going down the drain. Like, she really is falling from grace. And it's funny as hell because y'all know yesterday, Carlos King was upset about Nene not being proud reality royalty. But right now, honey, Nene is not giving reality royalty. She's not giving it right now, honey. And this situation today only further proves that point. So, Carlos, baby, if I was you, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't go on, on, on my podcast trying to uh, vindicate, validate, fight for, stand up, Go in for a needle lease right now because baby, it, it, it's her her grace um, that she once had has fallen. Has fallen. You know what I'm saying? And, and it's nothing you can say to salvage her. So it would be in, in your best interest not to try to defend this woman because Nene is in, in so much shit right now. It is crazy, y'all. Um, like I said, shout out to um, you know um, her abuse ex, ex wife. Shout out to his wife. Um, because she deserves to get every penny that she receives because that's embarrassing. Like, because they're still legally married. They're, yes, they're separated, but they're still legally married. And so, you know, you, that's, that's, that's the misconception because people think, oh, well, I'm separated. I can do what I want to do. Yes, you're separated, but legally you are still married. If you are still married, then your wife legally has rights of a wife. So if she's in a state like North Carolina, she can sue who you're with, not you, but who you're with for alienation of affection, which is what she's doing because she's coming for Nene. One, because Nene got Nene would have more, more money probably. And two, Nene is the woman that fucked her husband and she didn't know about it and she has to watch it all, all over the web, seeing this woman with her husband all in Africa and shit, all with Portia and them. Like, I, you know, Portia girl, why would you let your sis set herself up like this? Because you, you got with the assignment and you luckily, you know, his ex-wife and didn't sue your ass because, you know, she, well, she probably couldn't sue in Georgia, but you luckily she didn't do that. You know what I'm saying? So you should have told me, you know, hey, girl, you know, I don't know. You know, you should have your sister back. Marlo, what, girl, you, you, you are, a, you know, a well-known gold digger, a well-known escort, a well-known prostitute, girl. Why you didn't keep your sis on game, your big sis on game? Like, now your big sis is in a world of trouble. Now she's in a world of shit. Girl, Nene, uh, like, her fans, the Nene fans, check on your girl. Y'all need to check on your girl, because I know she had her, her conzo, like, screaming and yelling and, and, and embarrassed. Like, this is, this is not good. Like, she keeps making an ass of herself. She keeps making herself look crazier and crazier, y'all. Like, what the fuck? Like, Nene. Like, I know she's thirsty to be relevant, and she's thirsty for attention, but getting lawsuits thrown in her ass over oh, shit that she, you know, over dumb shit, it's, it's crazy. Because, really, she knew better. She was a married woman. Um, for years, they over twenty years being married to Greg, and she and she was a self proclaimed I, I, I respect vows, and I, I'm, I'm marriage is important to me. So you know, as a woman that once was married, how you felt knowing Greg was cheating on your ass because Greg cheated on you after after a marriage. You didn't like it, so why would you do to another married woman? Like I don't really understand that logic. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like hypocritical, and so everything needs to get into karma. Unfortunately, it is because. 
Nene has done a lot of negative things, like most people who do negative things. You know, karma comes to those who do negativity. And so, unfortunately, Nene's karma is coming her way. And this is another round of that karma, honey. And, you know, look, y'all, even, let me see what I did, y'all. So, you know what I mean, honey? So, I called down to the North Carolina, um, Circuit Court, honey, you know, because I was like, let me try and see if I can get, you know, um, you know, the documents, because I want to read everything. And, I'm, and you know, so I went online first. I was Googling, child. So I Googled, and I was, like, searching on how to find it. I was, I was looking by her name. I went and found his, his wife's name and, 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 you know, searched up by her name. And couldn't pull anything up. So I called the North Carolina, because I know where she lives. She's in North Carolina. And so, um, and I'm going to tell you exactly which county, honey. You know, she lives in, um... Oh, child, which, uh, it's, I can't, can I pronounce the name of the county? Um, but she lives in North Carolina. Give me one second, I can tell y'all, but she lives in North Carolina, honey. North Carolina, and I was like, so I called the, the circuit court, the county that she lives in, I called her, the, the exact court, because I was like, let me call and see if they can tell me, you know, how or what, and, and you know, so how can I find those documents? Because I wanted to see, you know, like I found Nene's other lawsuit. I wanted to see what was, you know, what was the tea. You know, so I called and I pretended to be, you know, <laughs> child. So I called and um, she, yeah, she, I called and um, she's from Harrisburg, North Carolina. She resides in Harrisburg, North Carolina. That's where she resides. And the county in which she resides in is... Cabarrus County. So that's the county that she, she was eyes in, y'all. So anyway, let me get back to my story. And so I called. I was like, hello. Um, my name is, my name is, um, Malomain, um, Timbensio. And, um, I was calling because I wanted to, you know, get the filing number for my uh, case. And so they gave me, they gave me her filing number, which I do have. And so I said, you know, so, and I was like, well, is there any way I can find it? Because, you know, I've been looking for my case and, you know, I wanted to print out the documents to have for my personal, you know, usage. And so it was like, well, um, they looked me up or so they looked her up and, the case, and you know, by my name I gave, I gave her her name, the hyphenated name, because she's still married. She still has, this, you know, name. And they pulled it up and was like, well, okay, and they gave me the filing number first. And then I said, well, I, and I told them I had the filing number because they gave it to me. They gave me the file number first, y'all. So, let me, let me clear it up. They gave me the file number when I first called. Because I called twice. So, they gave me the file number first, y'all. So, when they gave me the filing number, so then I was like, well, shit, how can I, you know, so I tried to look it up by the filing number. And I was having some issues because it kept saying the file number was not, it was invalid. So, I called back and I gave them the filing number. And they said, you know, they, they said, okay, yes, it's her number. This is a, her correct filing number. And so, um, I was like, well, I'm trying to look up my case because... You know, I want, like I said, I want some personal, I want it for personal use. And it was like, well, ma'am, um, you're going to have to come up here and get, come up here and get a print out, print out of it because we don't have a way for you to get online. And I was like, well, she was, I was like, dang, you know, like, because I don't, I, you know, wasn't thinking I'm going to have to go all, you know, I had to go to North Carolina to get these documents. It was like, yeah, you're going to have to, um, come in because they don't have, you know, like, Nene's lawsuit with Bravo, they have it online where you can actually access it, but, her, but this woman's case against Nene, they don't have it online, so I can't print it out. Because I was going to print it out, and you know, for my own personal usage, you know. But they were so sweet and so accommodating, and, you know, you know, I'm, you know, I'm good, you know, look, I can know how to, you know, I got a soft voice, so I can change to a woman voice, honey, real quick, honey. So, you know, I was, you know, giving them what I could give, honey, and you know, she was so sweet and kind, the receptionist at the um, circle court, and like I said, I couldn't get the print out, but... I did get a case file in over, honey, so there is an existing case, honey. Catch that jar, honey. You know, I you know, I'm you know, I'm gonna find out some stuff, baby. Look, you gotta be smart in this game, honey, you know. And so yes. So there is an active case, honey. Cause I you know, I just all really want to know, like really, is it, it really an active case with this woman against Lanithia and it is an active case. And in Cabarrus County, in Harrisburg, North Carolina, honey. And so, yeah, this woman is not playing games. And I'm here for the wife. You know, because at the end of the day, she's still the wife. She's still the main chick. And Nene is a side chick. How do you go from being a wife to a side chick? Now, how does that work, y'all? Nene went from being a wife to a side chick. Make that make sense. 
Like I, that's backwards. Like I, I, I thought the goal was to be the wife and not be a side chick. Now I go from being a wife to a side chick. Chat, it, this is embarrassing. For I, I'm so embarrassed for Nene. Like, cause she's too old for this. Like the bitch is almost sixty and she's doing shit that twenty year olds do. Girl, you can't be a sixty year old side chick. That's not cute. And you a grandmother, a great great grandmother, honey. That's not cute. That's not giving at all. I, child, I know Greg is up in heaven shaking his head because he left this earth hoping that Nene would, you know, would, you know, find someone that would do her right, that she would move on and be happy, not move on to somebody else's husband. Like, God rest Greg's soul because I know that man just shaking his head, Lord. This is, this is sad. You know, all jokes aside, this is really sad because we're seeing the, the, the breakdown of a woman. We're seeing this woman literally break and fall and keep falling and like we're watching the decline of a woman who once was this reality tv you know mega star we, we are watching her fall and it, it, it's it's sad because you know she has no one around her to really shake some sense into her head that's that's sad you know because at the end of the day you know she you know all just aside she is a reality television figure she did you know do her thing as a part of reality TV. But, you know, she is just not making the smart moves. And it's just sad because, you know, we all love Nene. I was a fan of Nene. I love, when Nene first, when I first watched Nene on Housewives, I was a fan. I, my dislike towards her started at the end of her run on the show. You know what I'm saying? And now it's like she just doing, it's, it's, it's more and more of this recklessness. It's more and more of this, you know, mess. And it, it, it's, it's, it's just sad watching someone who was once, you know, like I said, just at the top of their game fall. But, you know, that karma, honey, is just when you do wrong to people and you do, you're nasty and so rude all the time. I mean, what you put out, you get back. And unfortunately, you know, she's getting it back. And, you know, she needs to go pray to God. That's all I can say to her. She needs to go pray to God, ask God to forgive her and repent. And get all this negative energy washed away from her because it right now all she has is negativity around her. All she has is this negative energy around her. This negativity because she's such a negative person and until she clears that up, all we're gonna see is Nene constantly be enthralled in negativity and drama and mess. Um child. Who child, y'all? Just it's it's crazy. It is crazy, y'all. I be it is crazy. It is crazy, y'all. <laughs> it really is. I mean, it really is crazy. Because Nene, she know better. And to be at her age, to be just being a side chick at her age, it's, it's, it's not giving. And it's not cute. And, you know, this is <laughs> this is sad, y'all. This is sad. Some sad This is This is sad. It's funny and sad. It's funny because like she she willingly was okay being a side chick, but it's sad because she's sixty years old and 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 went from being a to a side chick, and she knows that being a side chick is not what people want to be, what women want to be. So it's it's sad because she you know obviously didn't care, you know, and now she's now she's the face of being a side chick at sixty. <laughs> A side chick at 60, bitch. A side chick at 60. Come on, y'all. We, we got to do better. Like, Nene, you got to do better, boo. Like, a side chick at 60? Girl. Where's the class, honey? Where's the class? Where's the class, girl? Because it's not even cute. Girl. But you child, look, we'll, we'll keep watching, honey, and I'll keep posting the tea and the news and keep y'all updated on what's going on with this case, child. Um, cause it's 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 gonna be a long, long, long road for Miss Lanithia Monique Johnson, formerly leaks, honey. A long road.